Hi, it's Coach Mark Rodericus with Pittsburgh Southside. I'm easy to reach on the internet, but I've got some worries. I'm worried about summer. Things should be going well with our youth, and things should be going well with um, a lot of efforts in the community, but the youth is the main worry here. You know, we've got um, the pools are closed. Our lifeguard training has stopped, of course. But furthermore, the athletic training, the kids aren't able to do their sport. Their um, off-season conditioning is sort of not happening at all. So um, not only are that, but the schools and the spring sports didn't happen. So I don't even know how effective the schools were with a sudden stop when the virus hit to try to put everything online. So uh, there's um, a lot of worries about how we're doing to do things. But the BBC just released a podcast. I um, want you to give it a listen. It's a couple minutes long, but it's talking about the youth and the job outlook. Um, and then at the end, I'm going to ask you specifically for your help to opt into an email discussion list. And we're going to do some, a lot of heavy lifting with our youth this summer. And um, I need your input right away. Let's give a listen to the BBC and see what they have okay. to say. Across the world, huge numbers of people have lost their jobs due to the coronavirus pandemic. But it turns out we're not all in this together. Some groups of people are far worse hit than others. For instance, new analysis from the International Labour Organization says young people are being disproportionately affected and the global crisis is inflicting a triple threat on the younger generation. Our Geneva correspondent, Imogen Folks, told us more. Well, what the ILO has been doing is been publishing regular labour market analyses since the start of the pandemic and the disruption to the employment market. And the focus in this one is on young people, the under 24s, the 16 to 24s, say, in the work market. They say that more than one in six have actually had to stop working since the pandemic began. They said that others, the average, have seen their working hours cut by 23%. And of course, all the other things that go with these restrictions, the disrupted education, the disrupted training, the inability to get into the jobs market right now, the worry that university degrees may not be able to be completed. So all of this, what they, they describe it really is almost like a triple whammy for the, the young generation who they say are really being the hardest hit. And are there specific young people who are being particularly affected, perhaps in terms of their sex or geography? Well, as with nearly every economic indicator, women seem to be the most negatively impacted. We know that it's harder in every country really sometimes for women to enter and succeed in the jobs market to, to get parity of pay with men. So young women are being harder hit than young men. But overall, basically for young people, it's like their life is on hold and they can't really see where their next step can be because many, many doors have been shut. And unfortunately, the jobs open to young people now that they can remain in. Often they are in the, the very informal sector, the hourly pay, flexible in restaurants, in agriculture, this kind of thing. But steady jobs, getting into a steady job and advancing up a career, all of that is on hold for the moment. And the ILO having identified this problem, do they have any suggestions on how to overcome it? Well, they want governments to focus particularly on young people. And what they want is really big. And of course, again, this will cost uh, money and time, but they want a big investment in training programs and in job guarantees, employment guarantees for young people. At some point or other, this crisis is going to end for all of us. And we need a stable economy after that. And under... The confirmation from the UK is nice, but we know that these are weird times. And I want our youth in the city and the region to tear it up and be successful. This requires a shift to a knowledge economy. And over the years, 
the summer jobs program was supported well by the mayor and still is today and an agency called partners for work as well as other groups throughout the area goodwill phase four the bloomfield garfield corporation and pittsburgh public schools but this year it needs to be on a virtual basis and i'm gearing up to do some interesting projects with the students but first off problem number one is reaching the students kids 14 to 21 um, the applications are a little bit less than what we want those kids that can income qualify and be a part of the program need to apply right away so if you can help promote the opportunity to have a summer job for six weeks for um, half time work it's up to 25 hours per week for six weeks we want the kids to apply and that takes some paperwork getting on payroll and stuff so let's get the word out to the kids to apply for work and then secondly I'm looking for students and youngsters who are athletic fitness minded and who would like to enter the knowledge economy and work with um, websites WordPress open source software and some of our high-tech content and skills that mainly revolve around sports and publishing so that would be awesome to have the youngsters who are athletes to be able to come on board and we work with some of the goal setting things in the libraries such as with the International Swim Coaches Association and then finally and this is a big point too I need some helpers some tech savvy adults who can come in and perhaps tell a story about their industry and their business and their um, needs and uses of technology as well as maybe throw us a couple projects as well but I am looking for those mentors people to step up and let's get those um, contacts established and we'll be able to um, build it out but the best way to move forward will be with an email discussion list and a new website that we're creating just for this summer called earn.cloh.org earn e a r n dot c l o h dot org c l o h can stand for come live over here dot org so i'd like you to visit that website and subscribe yourself presently to that list and we'll talk about the projects and we'll see the challenges that I'm going to be putting forth to the kids in the um, days and weeks to come so we can have a productive summer. Thanks for listening. Thanks for giving us your help.